Hello and welcome to the Marion County Sheriff's Office Newsroom. I'm Lieutenant Ryan Robbins. And I'm Lauren Latillier here with your daily crime report first at 5. Units responded to the 100 block of Northeast 50th Court and made contact with the victim who advised someone stole $550 worth of tools in a toolbox valued at $1,800 out of the bed of his truck. Investigation is ongoing. Units responded to Pecan Run and Pecan Run Course in reference to suspects cutting the padlocks off of two enclosed mm. trailers and stole approximately $1,200 worth of pool cleaning and auto detailing equipment. The investigation is also ongoing in this case. Good. On July 22nd of 2015, flashback. Flashback. The victims reported their home was located at the 12,800 block of Southwest 43rd Court. Uh, correction Circle was unfortunately entered and $15,000 worth of property was stolen. The suspect in this case had cut themselves during the burglary and left some blood on the scene. We call that Ooh, DNA. Yeah. Detective Adrian, Adrian Lewis received a CODIS hit on the blood, which came back to the defendant Xavier... La Fortune. Sounds easy for her to say. <laughs> Detective Lewis located the det defendant who was a stranger to the victim and arrested him for that bur burglary. The defendant denied uh, being involved in this burglary, even though his DNA was found on the scene. So great job to Detective Lewis. It's like something you see on TV, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> awesome work by Detective Lewis. Another great case by Detective Lewis. On February 29th, the victim reported that she gave defendant Luis Vidal Pacheco $5,500 to purchase a vehicle for her. The defendant never produced the vehicle and was dodging the victim's calls. Detective Lewis, again, awesome job, located the defendant in the jail on unrelated charges. It's easy from there. Mm -hmm. During an interview with the defendant, Pacheco admitted to using $3,500 of the victim's money to pay for his probation fees and said that he could not remember what happened to the rest of the money. Yeah. The defendant was arrested and already in the Gold Star Hotel. Made it easy there. Detective Lewis is our rock star of the day. Awesome job. Great guy, too. Yeah, real good guy. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, a big update to share with you. You might have noticed that employees here at the Marion County Sheriff's Office, along with other public safety agencies, were partnering with IHOP and Children's Miracle Network to fundraise for uh, that cause. Uh, it started in the last week with a pancake eating competition, awesome. and then uh, several of our local celebrities and uh, administrators were flipping pancakes this week also for guests on National Pancake Day. Yeah. Uh, so, um, we have the results now. We have the results Drum in. Drum roll. Drum roll. And we have cowbell roll. Excellent. During that fundraising uh, period, we raised $11,500 here in Marion County at the IHOP there on South Pine. So a great job by the IHOP uh, crew down there for all their hard work and efforts. Uh, we're just proud to be a part of that and to go and, and do our part. Uh, the public safety uh, agencies that participated raised over $840 wow. uh, themselves. So it was a... Uh, a great event and we're very happy to have partnered with them. Some more awesome, awesome news. We're gonna, just going to keep it rolling today. We have reached 50,000 likes on our Marion County Sheriff's Office Facebook page. Party time! Yeah, Woohoo! Our, I want an ice cream party. We should have an ice, ice cream, cream party. party. <laughs> She's paying. <laughs> well, thank you to our dedicated Facebook followers for all of your support. Always remember, please like us and share us on Facebook. Absolutely, it's so important that you're engaged with what we're doing so that we can get information out there that's valuable to uh, solving, fighting crime in our community, locating missing endangered uh, people, and um, just making the community overall a safer place to live. So we appreciate you being the eyes and ears out there and making it a success. We'll see you tomorrow.